What's happening? And look at what so and so is doing. Look at them up there. And they're so pessimistic, they cannot take any practical positive step. And any little thing that happened, what do I expect? What else should I think will happen? It's when you are optimistic, you're positive, and you have objectives. Objectives. I'm doing this or that. I'm going here to reach that place. I'm spending this amount of money to achieve that. It's that objective optimism that helps you to go through life as a change maker. If you are pessimistic, you give up. Things will never work. Even in this, our land, in this, our country, things will never work. And you know, when you say that, you will have your mind bringing out histories of the past. That one didn't work. This one will not work. That one didn't work. This one will not work. That one didn't get up. This one will not see the light of day. You see, that's the problem for many people. But when you turn around, when you say God is still on the throne, he knows we're here. And he told us if we ask him, he will do it for us. Bring that into your life and suppress, swallow up all those negative utterances. And be objective, objective and purposeful. Mother, methodical mentor. Mother, objective Optimist and T here is transformational teacher. Transformational teacher. There are different kinds of teachers. What do you teach? The things you teach, can they contribute something positive to the life of the one you're teaching? Whatever subject you are teaching, do you make application of what you teach? The mother of Moses was a teacher, a teacher of her own son, Moses. But she was a transformational teacher. We were slaves. I will not be a slave. His heart had been transformed. We're here. We're bound up in this dungeon. And Pharaoh takes us as if we're just kind of inanimate objects, but I will not remain like that. They keep us down under their boots, yet I'm going to rise beyond their boots, and I'm going to come on top. I seem to be in a valley, but I will not remain in the valley. I'm going to the mountaintop where you so teach that you bring up Positive thought, positive action, positive desire, positive drive. Anyone you are teaching, anyone you are influencing, that is the way of the change maker. Change makers are not people who act bold outside and then when they go back home, the child does something he shouldn't have done. I know you'll never make it. I know you'll never rise up. You'll never go beyond your father. Look, your father is this. I am the one feeding the family. You will be like your father. How does that transform the child? You mind your language. You mind your action. You mind the things you say that will impart the tender, growing heart and emotion of that child. H, the mother is a hopeful helper. Hopeful helper. Now, when your child, if your mother was growing up, and the child attempts to uh, stand up, and she fell back, what did you do? Did you browbeat that child, criticize that child? Did you keep the child down? You will never work, you stupid child, stupid boy, stupid girl. No, you are a hopeful helper. One day, it will work. One day, it will run. And then you helped 
him up. Not just in walking, everything in life, in talking, in attitude, in disposition, in development, and even in the school subjects. He has failed. She has failed. What do you do? You beat that child down. <laughs> Look, you couldn't do this simple thing. If you cannot do this simple thing, I will do greater things in life. There's no point wasting money on you. There's no point wasting all my efforts on you. A uh -uh. mother should be a hopeful helper. And if you are working in an institution, it may not be your biological children. They be people who are looking up to you, and your words matter to them. Are you a hopeful helper? You know that tomorrow, this child will be where you couldn't have been. But shall carry your image, carry your lessons, carry your teaching, carry your formative instruction, and carry that thing to places she couldn't, he couldn't have been without you. The mother, he is an exemplary educator, exemplary educator. She educates not only in theory, but in the practical. My child, be bold. That's okay. Let him see that boldness in you. My child, be truthful. Liars are not reckoned way. Nobody wants to employ a liar in a good institution. Thank you, mother. Show it too. Show it. You want the child to be truthful. Be an example. You want the child never to complain, never to murmur, never to say, what kind of mother is this? I wish I'd been born by another mother. What kind of daddy is this? I wish I'd been born by another mother. That you don't want the child to say that, then you don't say, what kind of country is this? I wish I had been born in another country. Because those children, they take after what we do, what our lives exemplify. And so, if we're going to raise up change makers like Moses, we ourselves must be change makers. We educate them, but we are examples of what we're educating them on. God will help you. He'll give you the grace. And there, there are things we never say, even if those things are right, even if we know those are facts. There are facts that can destroy the mind, the hearts. Of your children, you know something bad going on, and you know that you know you are at the table eating, and you don't have any other discussion except the discussion on uh, this is bad, this is bad. The leaders are like this, the leaders are like that. Some secret, secret things that you know that you can say, I can prove them, they are facts by the negative facts, and they will only poison the hearts and the minds of your children. And so, as a mother, you will be an exemplary educator. After all, when our teachers come to class when we are in the primary school, they didn't teach us everything they knew. The one that was to teach English just came and taught the English, and they didn't talk about, you know, all those other things going up in the air, in the sea, in the forest. No, our minds couldn't take that as children. And so, be an exemplary educator as a mother. Are resilient retrainer. You're training up the child, and you trained him in little, little things before you build up and teach this and teach that. And the child has not got what you have taught and trained him for. Training cannot be done in only one day, not even one week, not even one year. And so you are resilient yourself. You don't give up. 
on any child. You don't give up even on yourself. I learned that yesterday. It has not yielded fruit. I learned it again. I was trained in this direction. The training has not brought up the fruit. Retrain yourself. I promise myself I'll not do that again. I did it again. That's all right. Do it. And do it right now. What, when you can make the things that were wrong and you're not giving up and you say, I'm going to be a change maker. And then you found yourself doing something and your mind asks you, is, that, is it how change makers act? Okay, I have failed. Now, if you fail, fail forward. Don't fail backwards. If you fail, don't lie down there. No point, no use. I am a failure. No, you are not a failure. You are somebody on the way to success. I said, I am on my way to success. Show me man. Show me a woman who is now like an expert in her field and ask her, did you ever make any mistake? <laughs> said, yes. If I didn't make a mistake, I'll never have made any other thing in life. Life starts with rising and falling. Life right, goes with, you know, trying to walk and stumbling. And life begins in a way that I failed, I fell, fall, fall. You'll not go back. You learn from your mistakes. You learn from the things you try to do and you could not make it. But tonight we're having a new start, a new beginning. You're going to be a resilient retrainer. You retrain yourself. All these things you have heard today and the principles you have heard, you say, I will now live by this. Write them down. Go over them again and again. And when you see that your human ability is not able to make the change by yourself, our creator God in heaven invites us. We can talk to him. I've been a failure. I couldn't hold that. I couldn't do that. I couldn't maintain that. Help me. It will help you. I said it will help you. Even today, tonight, it will help you. And then you say, this is what is making me to have the setbacks. They remove all the setbacks in your life. Today, we start a new journey. A new journey of change makers. Change makers. Now, did, did, you, did you see this? We're talking about Miriam, the sister, and the mother making the change for Moses. But think about it. Have they made the change for Moses? A change also happened in their life. Now, the royal family knows the mother. Who knew the mother before? Until she came into the life of this child to make a change. Miriam. Now, Miriam was known in the palace of the king now. She could go there because she was the one that connected the pharaoh's daughter with the mother. And so, as we make changes in other people's lives, God will make tremendous change in your own life too. Whatever has brought tears in your eyes, the Lord will wipe them away. Whatever has brought discouragement, and no determination, no goal anymore, the Lord will wipe everything away. He will impact your life to be a change agent. And when... You make a change, he makes a change, I make a change in our different fields, in our different endeavors. Our country will change. That's all the amen you have. When uh, 
our country changes, it will be of benefit to me, of benefit to you, of benefit to our children, of benefit to our families. And if there's no road getting to your village, to the place you came from, when the changes take place, good road will get to you. And all the produce of the market that couldn't get there before will get there in Jesus' name. No hospital in our community. If, uh, you know, we have to uh, get to the hospital, we have to go to the capital to go uh, for the good hospital. Hospitals are coming. Good roads are coming. And all the good, good things we need, they are coming. But let us begin one by one, one after the other, to be the change we expect. I am optimistic that that change is starting tonight. Will you allow that? Now, let's turn away now from other people and look inwards. Look at your own life. Look at your own way of doing things. Don't you think a change is necessary? A change is necessary. And the Lord will make the change, and then you will go out as change agents, change makers, change markers, and change examples everywhere you go. I was waiting for another amen. Amen. It's about an eyes closed. Here is the time for us to allow God Almighty to touch our lives, make a change, and start with that change, and make that change positive, practical, permanent. And as he makes that change, we'll go back to our families. And charity that begins at home, the change will begin at home. And go to our schools, and go to our institutions, and go to our worship places, and go everywhere. And the change God does now in our lives will carry the change back to those places, and people will see the change, and the change will reflect on them. And we will become a community of change makers in Jesus' name. Amen. A determined amen. A decisive amen. As you bow your head and close your eyes, you want God to look at all those areas of your life that need change. And will become like the sister, like the mother, we are pointed out, doesn't come naturally, but God will do it in our life. And over there where you are, you're saying, oh Lord, here I am. Start that change in me. Start that change in me. All those areas you have discovered now, start the change in me. Wherever you are, you just press up your hand. I'll pray with you. Where are you? Start that change in me. You're raising up your hand. I can't see very, I can't see you very well in the crowd. So just stand up. Start that change in me. And you mean it. You stand up. The same Lord. Start this change in me. A decisive change. A determined change. The desirable change. Almighty God, we well, thank you for the beginning of positive, practical, permanent change in every one of our lives. We pray, O oh Lord, we will not remain the same as we have been before. Let your power, let your strength, let your goodness come into every life and turn us around in the right direction. Make the change in everyone. Help us, Lord, to go out 
But that definite change can go to impact our communities. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you. You've been a good um, audience. And the change that has started today will continue in every life. And we will see the change in our communities. Can we put our hands together once again? Let's celebrate our daddy. Awesome words. Awesome words. Awesome words. Thank you very much, daddy. I want to remind us that this program continues tomorrow. 4 p.m. is the call time. We'll come early. We're, we're going to start early. And of course, we'll go back early. So remember, the program continues tomorrow. 4 p.m. is the time. We're hoping that you'll come again and so that we'll continue to learn, we'll continue to unlearn, and we will continue to relearn. The main message here is we must be the change that we want to see in our families, in our homes, in our community, in our space in our states, and in the world at large. The change must start with us. All right, on that note, I want to say thank you so much to Daddy. Daddy, we appreciate you. Thank you so much. I want to appreciate our mommy. Thank you very much, Ma. We appreciate you. I want to appreciate all the pastors, everyone, all our special guests, and of course, all our speakers who joined us today for, for the opening of the maiden edition of the Changemakers. Thank you very much. And everyone who stayed up until this time, I want to appreciate you for staying up until this time. We know that we're going home with the blessings and we will return tomorrow a better person and we will gather here again to celebrate the Change Maker International, knowing fully well that the change will definitely begin with us. Once again, the program will continue tomorrow by 4 p.m. We expect to see your beautiful and lovely faces. We wish you a safe journey back to your respective home. God will lead you safely and will bring you back here tomorrow for another time and another moment for us to have the conversation talking about the positive change that we want to see. Once again, my name is Blessing. Oti, and of course, from my sister, Zila Ineme, we say thank you. You know how we started? We started with a national anthem, and we're going to be closing with a national anthem. So, studio, if you're ready, please take it away. We'll see you again tomorrow, 4 p.m. Nigeria, Nigeria.